Uh, what I miss most about Andy? Frick, that's a hard question. <laughs> everything. <laughs> I miss everything about him. The good, the bad, the ugly. You know, uh, Andy was just so committed and just so gnarly. Like, he just had this aggression. Like, he was just going to destroy the waves. He's just in the moment where He's just so pumped, he's so psyched, and he just leans into that massive roundhouse. He, he doesn't even think about the consequences. That's kind of the way he surfs, it's just full throttle. Something that'll never get easy, you know, losing Andy. Not having him there this year will definitely be difficult for a lot of the guys. I don't know him. But he was like my hero for like every since I'm young. I think a lot of the Tahitians will be sad, you know. I think Tahiti really loved Andy. They loved the shows that he put on every year for him. And just just his aloha spirit that he just shined through in Tahiti. You know, everyone, you know, mommy and poppy just, you know, they loved Andy like their son or something. And um, it's rough not having him there, you know. Realistically, I'm looking forward to just uh, winning another contest. That'd be a big dream of mine to get one more win. I'm just really putting my whole goal around one more win. If I get one more win before I quit surfing competition, I think it'll be awesome. And if it doesn't happen, then so be it, whatever. But if it does, I mean, I'm sure I'm gonna enjoy that win, I think, more than most of my wins I've ever had, just because it's been so long. I guess, um that day, you know, watching him win that day. I wasn't there, I had to watch it on the net, but seeing his face light up and, you know, it's pretty awesome. So I guess if you keep the good memories in your head and it'll, you know, hopefully keep it good. Right when he won, I gave him the Hawaiian flag, shook his hand and, and he was just so pumped because he wasn't sure he could do it anymore. You know, he didn't know if, if he had it in him to win another world tour event. just vindication for him winning Tahiti and it kind of gave him that spark and I, I had a moment with him where I just you know shook his hand and I was just like so psyched and proud of him and you could see that he was really happy as well and with the win and it's kind of a moment that I'll never forget. I got a lot of great memories of him just just taking off on some beautiful waves out there and just having a great time just coming out smiling that's that's how I remember him at Tahiti. I mean when I think of Chopes I think of it as basically Andy's spot. It was big, and I just remember so many visions of him just taking off in the heaviest drops that you're so scared for him, and he just makes them, and then next thing you know, he's just looking all casual in the barrel, just standing straight up. I love watching him surf out there. He's, he's the best surfer out there. miss you, you know? We all miss you, buddy.